Okay. Here we go. And, uh... <sighs> yeah, even though I was using the alcohol very carefully and, um not to deal with emotional stuff like anytime I was like oh I'm depressed or bored or lonely or sad or whatever and I wanted to drink I was like no like you need to do a whole bunch of stuff and get right with yourself you can't drink unless you're right with yourself so even treating it like that um and only taking it so that I could uh, cope with my nerve pain and my chronic migraines I got addicted to it and um, quitting alcohol was really fucking hard because I had gotten into the habit of just so that I could sleep at night because the pain was too bad for me to sleep at night um, and you cannot be awake and stay sane for days at a time. I was drinking myself to sleep, which for me, I'm such a lightweight. That's two shots. That's two shots of vodka. That's it. And two shots of vodka, sleep, like, yeah. But um, the repercussions of that are headache and also, like, I got addicted to it and so quitting alcohol uh was really hard like even just as little as I was using it like it was like so much like this is me in my bedroom I'm sipping on a soda pretending that it's alcohol pretending that it's alcohol I'm sipping on a soda pretending that it's alcohol this is me not drinking this is me not getting a drink this is me not drinking and I would be like awake for a couple of days like like my body just screaming for it my body just going like guess what bitch you gave me a loophole and I want it I want it bad give it back to me if you want to sleep you're gonna have to give me a drink and I was like no body no I refuse I will not you will not you will learn to sleep on your own I will not give you this crutch you will take care of yourself body and uh and it worked um, I don't know how long it was. It was, it was months. It was actual months before, like, I started to feel okay about, um, not drinking and, like, managed to get a little bit of sleep, but, um, I also have chronic pain, so, like, if, if not alcohol getting me to sleep, um, if the pain is severe enough, then I have oxycodone and promethazine to take. And, and so, like, I was getting periodic sleep, and I wasn't losing my mind or anything. But uh, it was not fun, and I will never forget that. And I will never forget the, like, fuck, like, the shame that I felt. Like, knowing my genetics, knowing that I came from an alcoholic background, I still was, like, no, I'm fully, I, I know, I'm fully aware, like, I'm so aware of addiction, I'm so aware of addiction, and I'm so cautious, and I do it so carefully, like, it's just to sleep, it's just to get to sleep, I'm not gonna get addicted, I, like, really thought that because, like, I saw it, I wasn't gonna get addicted, but I fucking did, and, um, like, going through that and being, like, wow, like, everything that I knew, and I still got addicted to alcohol, like, Everything I've experienced and how much I fucking hate alcohol. I still got addicted to alcohol, man. Like, it was, like, really fucking intense. And I'm never going to go through that again, so I'm never going to drink again. And, um, yeah. So anytime I want a drink, like, that, like, the horror of going through alcohol withdrawal and, and knowing that if I give my body that crutch, it's not going to let me sleep. It'll fuck up my sleep. I cannot do anything to fuck up my sleep. And I'm fucking up my sleep right now. Like, I should have taken the Protandum. Protandum is a natural thing. At, uh, at 9.30 when I fed Grim. But I, 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 fed, I fed the pets today, but I didn't manage to feed myself. And I really didn't manage to do much of anything today. I made, I made seven videos, and, and I hung out on the internet. And I say hung out on the internet. I was actually in, like, support forums, like, trying to take care of myself. Um, even though I have a migraine, like, I, I just really like the distraction from the migraine, from, from the headache that I have, you know, like, I really, I really like to be distracted from it, cause, like, as soon as, as soon as I'm not distracted from it, it's, it's just such a, it's so, it's so big, it's just so big, you guys, like, I just have to, I just have to keep talking to somebody, I just have to keep talking to somebody, because it's, my head hurts so bad, my head hurts so bad, I tried to get Sean to come over so he could clean the guinea pigs and, and like maybe make some food for me so I could eat tonight. 
but he didn't respond to me. And he probably didn't kill himself, but if he did, that's not on me. I didn't do that. Um, <sighs> freaks me the fuck out, like, saying that. Like, I wasn't freaked out saying it, but then, like, after I'd said it, I was like, fucking dude, don't fucking say that shit. Don't say that shit. But, um, I need to, need to eat to take the protandum, and, uh, I need to figure out what to eat to take the protandum. I, th I think I have a can of tuna I can open, and I can eat a can of tuna, and I can just stuff some greens in my little bunny face. Stuff some greens in my little bunny face. I saw, I was, I was, I'm trying to understand, um, not just, like, my twin flame's problem with dissociative identity disorder, uh, but my problem with it, um, and I don't know if you know, but, like, what I say is that DID is the result of trauma, like, trauma cleaves the soul, and the more it's cleaved, so, it's like, Post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, depression, borderline personality disorder, dissociative disorder, dissociative identity disorder, psychotic. And, um, I saw someone, they were making a video and they, they said that when they were denying the altar taking over, it caused them a great deal of pain, physical pain. And this particular person actually spoke about getting a very bad headache. And um, I didn't have a headache until after I, like, faded and came back a couple times. And, like, I didn't fade away completely, but, like, maybe that's an altar trying to take over. And um, there's only... There's really only, like, two other um, identities that, like would ever do that that I understand as far as I know like there's three of me there's me and there's um like a psycho like a fucking like psycho like locked in a fucking room and she like is banging on the door you know uh, a lot um and then there's also like a little girl and so like I have a little and I have like a dangerous fucking person and I have me, and the, as far as I know, like, that's, uh, that's all that's, that's split with me, but I don't, I don't, I don't leave the viewing window, even when someone, like, takes over me, like, I'm still watching everything that they're doing, and, like, experiencing it, but, like, whatever, like, it, it's horrible, it's, like, I'm, like, fucking, like, screaming at them, like, no, don't do that, stop, like, I love him, like, stop it, no, like, do, what, like, it's horrible, it's, it's a really fucking scary thing, like, to be possessed, and that's exactly what this is, that's exactly what the dissociative identity disorder is, is, like, you're possessed by another consciousness, so, um, I was trying to understand that in dealing with my twin flame, who has dissociative identity disorder, but denies it, doesn't admit it, we don't talk about it at all, and, and, uh, and then, and that happened where it's like, am I getting headaches sometimes? Like, am I in pain because I'm not letting myself be taken over? Like, that's, an, that's an interesting thought. And, and it's something that I like hadn't considered before. Um, I talked to my therapist about DID, and she was like, that's really rare, you don't have that. Like, like, bitch has known me for two visits when she says this, and I'm like, uh... And I was really trying to go to therapy, yo. Like, I was really trying to go to therapy. And then the apocalypse happened. So maybe therapy's not where I want to be after all. <laughs> um...